Hello, my friends. I am here in the room with one cat, and there's another little white cat running around screaming. He's got Siamese in his blood, so he's very excited and excitable. Um, and today we're going to do, I'm going to do a much more exercise -y class than the somatic mat class. Um, and this is for people that need to have a lot of flexibility, climbers, dancers, pole dancers, uh, yogis, people that want to be able to continue to function sort of at an extreme level for a long time. So welcome, join me. If you're watching this on the replay, listen into your body. If you're doing it with me now, which it doesn't look like anyone is, listen to your body. Inhale, open and exhale, just feeling into your body. So I always like to start this way, opening my chest and lungs, reaching up to the gods and then releasing and softening. So inhale, stretch it up, lift and open, exhale, feel the space around you, getting expansive in your kinosphere. So in your realm of movement, you can start to bend your knees, drop it down, let your head release and inhale, bring it back up. So getting some movement in the spine, open, exhale, bend your knees, drop and release. Inhale, open it up, opening your heart, chest and lungs, exhale, bend your knees, release and drop. Inhale, open and lift, arch, exhale, take it down and release, inhale. Stretch it up, arch, exhale, all the way down and release and just shift from side to side. Bend one side, bend the other, letting your spine free up. So this is not about getting your hugest hamstring stretch yet. Let's warm them up a little bit more. So it could also be up here or you could have a block on the floor in front of you. We're not necessarily going for the huge hamstring stretch. And then coming in, rolling it all the way up, circles with the pelvis, big circles, mobilizing your tailbone, mobilizing your hip sockets, greasing up that joint, <sighs> connecting into your breath. <sighs> Breathe big, all the way down to your belly. <sighs> yeah, <sighs> getting used to taking in deep, diaphragmatic breaths, inhale through your nose. You can exhale through your nose or through your mouth. If I start change direction, if I'm breathing and working out, my nose might start running. So it might be easier to exhale through my mouth, but I feel like it's important for the tissue in our nose to have access sometimes to both types of breathing that we are breathing in through our nose and also out through our nose, really deep, deep diaphragmatic. So So like inside it's having this movement, right? Not just one way out the other way, but we're having both. I'm reading the Jane, uh, the uh, Nestor book, Breath, which I highly recommend. So we are going to open up into our X, just cross in front and make this a big weight shift, really crossing. Try to get that top arm reaching far away from you. So it's not kind of like little gimpy arms out here, but really reach, creating this X and then bringing it together. Reach, bring it together. We can spiral that, adding a twist. Yeah, and I'm touching my elbow to my knee. And then I'm going to change it to the back, touching in the back. So this is like our first contralateral pattern that we're doing cross body. We did it in the front. Now we're doing it in the back. Hello, nervous system. Humans. Uh, their most advanced pattern, well, if it's a normal pattern, is contralateral movement, cross-body movement. Running, walking, all of those things are super healthy. They reset our nervous system. This cross-body stuff is really good juju. All right, pull this back. And we're going to take it down. I'm going to inhale, lift, feet are wide, exhale, stick out my butt, taking it down. I'm take my hands inside my feet. Widen just a little bit there. I'm going to bend my knees here and then slowly straighten. Not necessarily all the way. Again, what I'm actually interested in more is this part of the work right now before we get really warm to stretch the hamstrings, getting the quads, inner thighs, outer thighs, everything kind of mobilized just through moving, bending and straightening. 
if I was going to go for my big stretch, I'd really be going through my legs, but I'm not. So keep this not at your biggest hamstring stretch yet. Let's warm them up more. And then we're going to stay in the middle, but it's going to reach back. Head is reaching forward. You're going to shift your weight forward, shift your weight back, shifting forward, shifting back, shifting forward and back forward and back. Oh, there's a little crack in my foot. I feel one of those joints in my metatarsals. And then slowly walk it up, take your hands forward, get your feet so they're just on the mat. Your knees are gonna be bent, we're gonna circle. Wrist, ankle, ankle, wrist. So again, we're mobilizing joints, but we're also bringing some blood flow into the muscles, some fluidity into the fascia and some movement. So everything inside is getting some movement against each other, other parts in itself, change direction. Wrist, ankle, ankle, wrist. So really like rotator cuff is getting this extra bit of circling here. And there's the pea pod joining in. And then I'm gonna take my feet together, then one knee, then the other, letting my hips release. I'm looking under my armpit one side and then the other. And then I'm gonna lift my heels high, scoop my belly in, round my spine, roll it forward, coming into a plank. Dropping my head, pushing, rolling it all the way up to the ceiling and then lowering my heels. Heels lift high, scooping my belly in, rounding, curling, rolling it forward. Then finding that long vertical, well, long erect position of my spine. Drop my head, pushing through the arms, rolling it up to the ceiling, lower down, lifting high, hollow scoop. This should really be articulating through your spine from the lower to the upper, and then from the head to the tail. Vertebra by vertebra, lift, scoop, curling, waving through the whole spine, push, drop your head, roll it up all the way to the ceiling, lower your heels. Butt high, scoop your belly in, round your spine, roll it forward, take it into your plank, find your plank. Once you get there, take a little pushing forward and backward. And then find center, drop your head, roll it up, roll, roll, roll all the way up to the ceiling and lower your heels. And we are going to do one more version of that. Round your spine, roll it forward. This time letting your pelvis come to the floor. You can drop your knees down, tops of the feet, just opening the front of your body, looking over one shoulder, looking over the other. Arch, look, look, arch, look the other way. Look, arch, bend your knees, take it back and child's pose, just melt, drop it down. Wiggle from side to side, let it go. And then shift your weight back towards your heels and bring it up. And let's stay in this forward uh, on, our, on our bellies position, even though we're off of our bellies, into a, a forearm plank. We're gonna go to the floor, drop it down, drop it down, cross it under, cross it under, knee to shoulder, knee to shoulder. Parallel, parallel, twist, twist, shoulder, shoulder. Parallel, parallel. Twist, twist, shoulder, shoulder, parallel, parallel, twist, twist, shoulder, shoulder, parallel, parallel, twist, twist, shoulder, shoulder, two more, parallel, twist, twist, shoulder, breathing, last one, twist, twist, shoulder, shoulder, and take it down, ah, relax. Breathing, just coming into yourself for a second there. And then we're gonna come and do this camel, just arching. You can take your hands this way, this way, however you want, inhaling and opening. And coming back up, filling up your lungs. And coming back up. I'm gonna go onto my heels and open there. 
and come back up. You can support your back as much as you need to. So you can leave your hands there the whole time or not, whatever you need. And bring it up and one more. And bring it up, stick out your butt, take it into a tabletop. We're gonna go for spinal fluidity and spinal freedom here. So this may be newer if people are used to doing exercise, exercise. This is more about finding flow and fluidity through your body. So like rippling up, rippling down, adding some like three-dimensional movement where you're doing all forward, side, back in the diagonals, nothing is held out. So there's some freedom in your whole diaphragm, freedom in your guts, you can stick out your butt. And you're letting your body be more, I want to say like a slime mold. You ever look at a video of a slime mold moving through a forest? Letting that kind of organic fiber tissue fluid motion be something very different than human hair. Letting yourself free it up. And so imagery is always a great way to get there for me. <sighs> ah, fluid body, hydrating joints, hydrating fascia, hydrating muscles, hydrating organs, getting a new relationship inside your body of how things are connected and allowing your body some freedom to express and move in ways that feel good to you. So lots of head tail relationship here. You may feel like a little heel sits, pinky scapula collarbone, rib cage pelvis cranium. I'm just naming things that like sometimes I'm feeling and sometimes I'm not thinking about any of that and I'm just moving and feeling movement, feeling movement ripple and wave, right? If we wanna have some flexibility, mobility and freedom in our tissues, we gotta let them move in different ways, not just in these sort of linear prescribed ways. Having said that, let's come back to some more linear prescribed ways. This could be a forearm plank or a regular plank. Today, I'm gonna to do it in a regular plank. I'm gonna cross under, open it up, bring it back and in, crossing, opening, back in, cross, side plank, down, in, cross, side plank, down. In, this could be forearms, cross, side plank, down, in, 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 cross, open, down, in, cross, open. This is our last one. And we're gonna come in and relax for a second. Take a couple of deep breaths. Try to keep breathing through your nose. I find that when I'm teaching and talking a lot, I do a lot of mouth breathing. Bringing that breath back in and out through the nose. So we're creating space for those passages. All right, let's take it onto our side. So this is kind of a different version of um, a side plank exercise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, this bottom foot is bent, I'm gonna come in and then reach out and back. Exhale, close, inhale, open. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, arching, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Come into neutral there. Let's go up and down one, two, three, four. I feel this most on the bottom side, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And come in, take your bottom leg forward, top leg back, and we're gonna do a side stretch there, opening up your quadratus and borum, opening up the side body. You can open, drop it down, using your breath. Right, so all that 
breath is coming down to the diaphragm inside our body. Our diaphragm is doing this, getting more fluidity, more capacity to move, right? Healthy diaphragm is moving a lot. That's also going to be really helpful for our lymphatic system. So we're going to stay in this position. You're going to take your bottom hand, grab your lat, top hand to the floor, down and up. Let's go for 12. One, touch all the way down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Swing your legs around to the other side, starting with the first thing. Bottom knee is bent, arm underneath you. Exhale, inhale. Head tail connection, side body. Strong, but getting that arch and curl. Four more. Three, two, one. Come into neutral, up and down for 10. One, two, three. Long neck, broad shoulders. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, the most place I feel it is under here. That glute and rotator are all working a lot. Bottom leg comes forward, top leg goes back. Side stretch, soften and melt. Soften your body so there's the capacity for movement. If we're all tight and rigid, it's hard to move. Tension masks sensation as well. So like strong muscles are not engaged all the time. They are soft and loose part of the time when they're not working. Open it up, free flow inside your body. What does that even mean? It means that you're not rigid. It means that there's freedom, there's movement. All right, grabbing with your bottom hand. So the knee that's in front, that hand grabs, other hand to the floor, down and up. Try to hit your shoulder all the way down. Going one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Bringing it around, coming all the way down onto your back. We're gonna do, first we're just gonna do leg circles. Then we'll do leg lifts up into shoulder stand. So leg circles as big or small as you want. I have to say these are one of my absolute favorite mobility exercises for the joint of my hips. And it's also getting all that tissue around your femur head to get really big three-dimensional movement. You can do this with your hands behind your head and your head can be up or it can be down. If you're here, just notice what's happening in the front of your chest, right? You have to work a little bit more in your center as the legs come down so that we don't start doing this weird little crunch, but this is kind of open. Ha, huh. if you have your hands behind your head, you get to do that real weird little crunch. <sighs> Ideally, you're keeping your shoulders wide <sighs> and your collarbones wide. <sighs> Good. Just for equal opportunity for the back of our body, I'm gonna open my feet fairly wide here, press up. I'm gonna interlace my hands behind my butt. If you don't have access to that, no problem, just push the floor away. Working towards interlacing and then shoulders walk close together. From here, I'm gonna inhale, knees open, exhale, close. Inhaling open, exhale, close. Inhale, trying to keep my pelvis high as I'm going through this. It is gonna bob up and down a little bit, but I don't want it to just be relaxed in my back, right? I'm really pushing with the back of my body, hamstrings, glutes back, not so that I become rigid and can't move, but so that I am pressing my pelvis up. And all that tissue in my leg is getting this beautiful internal knees touch, external roll to the outer edge of your foot movement, right? That is going to help, help your knees, help your hips, help your feet by having tissue that has some capacity to move. 
release that, come all the way down. Let's go with the legs out, big stretch. So you can grab and just hang out in a happy baby. That might be enough for you. Or maybe you wanna go into this hamstring and adductor stretch. And depending on where I go with my legs, like it could be more hamstring, more adductor, inner thighs, back of the legs. And I'm just gonna move it a little bit, breathing into that. Yeah, circling my feet, changing direction. And then folding it in, giving it all a shake. And we're gonna do this exercise. You're basically coming up to shoulder stand. Hands are on the floor and your arms are really pushing down. You could also just do this with your legs, just a leg lift. But if you wanna go and get into the back of your arms a little bit more, you're gonna keep your legs going up. You're trying to get your feet over your face so that the feet aren't gonna kick back to go up, but they're gonna go over your face and keep going up from there. So your arms gotta do the work. So it's gonna be like this. And then roll it down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. And release it down, shake it out. You can lift your pelvis up, shake your butt, let everything be loose and easy. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Like you're at Carnival in Rio. Shake, 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 a little samba. All right, let's uh, bring our knees up, big twist, spiraling. So that leg lift thing was in the sagittal plane. Forward, backward. Now we're just going with a twist to get some opposition from that movement. You can also straighten out your legs, which is gonna make it more intense. Try to keep your legs really in at least a right angle fold here so that they're not dropping down like this, but you're in that fold. Hello, floor. So nice to be moving on you and with you. Thank you for holding me up. Hello, earth. Yeah, as I'm moving, I can really feel where down is, right? Not only those little inner ear bones vibrating around tells me, but the water in my body as I move goes, oh, down is right there. My muscles working with my fascia and joints go, oh, that's where down is. Let's bring it in. I have migrated. Press it up, shake it out, shake, shake, shake. Gonna migrate some more. And we're gonna do a heel rock. So this is really a mobilizing and releasing exercise. Ah, really soften your body. Ah, let out some sound. Hmm. Hmm. Could be a closed mouth, hmm? Which is going to increase the nitric oxide in your body. Or an open mouth, ha, ah, which might actually relax you a little bit more. Or a combo. You're trying to send a wave up and down through your body. You're trying to relax your pelvis, your rib cage, your head and neck. Ah, relax your tongue. Soften your face. Ugh. Ah, let that go in and out. So people who've been working out a lot and haven't done a lot of releasing work, and I don't mean like big mobility, flexibility work. I mean releasing so that you're not holding a lot of tension. I mean like let go. Often don't have much movement. It'll be kind of like this, like, okay, I'm doing it. What I want is like this wave to be going up and down. And yeah, letting that hold. For me, usually it's my sternum that's kind of tight. So I have to allow it to happen in there as well. Right? 
Ah, it helps if somebody moves you and then they like you can relax enough and the ripple can start going through your body. Normally in a class with hands on, I could move you and you would feel the feeling and then it's easier to get back to that. Anyway, it's so funny. The simplest thing can take a lifetime to learn how to do well, or it's something that we just keep working on forever. And that's the beauty of movement is that there's always more to work on. It's all, there's, there's more things to learn. And, and since I'm such a maximalist, I want to keep learning new things in different ways. So we're going to open up into a straddle. You can elevate your pelvis here. You could sit up on some blankets, a towel. Block might not be very comfortable. And we're going to circle, mobilizing our organs, squishing around with the floor. Again, diaphragm is mobilizing. Heart, rib cage, lungs mobilizing, change direction, other way. <sighs> and I'm kind of pushing with my arms as well. If you're on the tighter side, you might want to kind of lift yourself out of it to get more movement. But if you're looser, you can really sink into it. All right, we are going to, first we'll do sides and then we'll come down the middle. So we're going to do a side stretch where I'm going to take it over to the side. I'm going to exhale, surrendering forward to my knee, and then inhale, spiraling and twisting. I'm pushing into this bottom hand to get more twist. Exhaling down toward the leg. Inhale. I'm coming up so I can really spiral my whole upper body. Exhale. Surrender. Inhale. Open it up. Open your heart and lungs. Exhale. Inhale. One whole connected body. Inhale, one more, exhale down. Inhale and come up. Over to the other side, same thing. Exhale, soften forward, inhale, open it up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale. Hey, buddy. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Just feeling if it's different on one side compared to the other. Chances are it's gonna feel pretty different. <sighs> totally lost count because of the cat distraction. So this is gonna be our last one and bring it up. And let's just do a little tissue release. Just, you can take your hands on your waist and kind of squeeze in, shift it side to side, <sighs> relax your tongue. Mm, shifting, 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 flexing your feet, arching. We're going to try and arch our spine as much as we can, taking it forward and then point, hollow, and curl to come up. Flex, reaching through your heels. Think of the inner body doing this, opening up, opening up. So it's not like passive. It's very active, taking it, arching, 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 and then point, curl, scoop up and in. And on the point and curl, you're kind of coming back in. So it's like everything's radiating out and then it's coming back in. If you're tighter, it could just be that you're doing this, arch and curl. The cats keep running in here, but just starting outside outside of frame, stopping outside of frame. So if you're hearing, it's really funny. Yeah, they come right to there and then they stop. Inhale, arch, exhale, inhale, open. Exhale, inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Inhale, arch. Exhale, hollow, curl and roll it up. Flex, arch, stretch it out. Open it up, point and curl. And last one, flex, arch and open and point. We're gonna change direction. If you need to soften this, bring your legs in, bang them out, let it go, that's totally fine. If you're up for staying in your open position, point your toes, curl, round down. Reach it out, flex, arch, and open. Point, hollow, curl, roll it down. There we go, flex, arch, and open. Come here. Squeaky, squeaky, come on. He's like, he's totally ignoring me. And again, staying out of frame. <laughs> he looked at me, he just altered, there he is. <laughs> Opted for not, not coming in. It's like, I'm not starring in your TV show, even though of course he is everyone's favorite. Around your spine, down, out. Up and open, point. Reach it out and lift, 
point, reach it out and up, point, reach it out and up, and then just soften, bring it in. If you're just popping in, because I see there's a person there, I'm already pretty far into this. So really listen to your own body if you're gonna join me. Oh, they're gone. So I'm gonna open my feet and spiral. So this is to release that forward backward with a twist, right? Sometimes the best release is in a different plane, in a different dimension. We're gonna take this a little further. You're gonna spiral, take it down, stretch your leg out so you're kind of in a pigeon, arch it up, bring it down, bend your knee and come through. Spiral, take it down, shift your weight so you get into pigeon, arch it up. Bring it down, bend the knee, coming through. Spiral, shift your weight, pigeon. Inhale, open, exhale down, bend your knee, shift it over, bend, shift your weight. Inhale up, take it down and open. And we're gonna switch into, let's come up to stand for a second. Let your body adjust to what you've done, letting it kind of come in for a landing. And I'm gonna say this, this is something that I really noticed. When I'm wearing leggings that are kind of tighter on my body, I feel the restriction in my fascia and in the fluidity underneath. So like these ones, like you can see, I don't really have a muffin top, but at the same time, they're really, they are, um, I don't know. They're not, it's like I have an extra layer of skin over my body, right? Which to me does not feel very good. Like I can do it for a short period of time, but in the long term, like some people think that feels like support. To me, it feels like restriction. So I'm just naming this so you can think about it and take note. If you're wearing tights or leggings all day long, it is doing stuff to your fascia, to your circulation, to your inner body, right? Maybe you need the help, but maybe you need your own body to be building that that fascial structure and strength. Anyway, so like, yeah, Spanx. Gotta be just on a, on a fascia level, I just don't think that that's a good idea for a long period of time. But then again, some people do. So, you know, to each their own, listen to your own body, see what feels good to you. We're gonna take the one leg up as high as it can go. Lift, lift, lift. Push the floor away. Try to score off your shoulders to the floor. And then you're gonna take your knee into your chest. We're gonna hold it there for a couple of breaths. And then kick it up. Again, opening, opening, opening as, as far as you can. Open and lift. And then bring it under, crossing over. We're gonna hold it there for two breaths. And then kick it up. In through your nose, remember, heel to the floor, lift, lift, lift. And knee to your outer shoulder and hold it there for two breaths. And kick it up to the ceiling, open, open, open. Bring it through the center, foot down, take it into this big lunge. Let's move forward and backward in that lunge. If it's possible, see if you can take your arms off the floor so it's all leg work in your forward backward. If you need the arms, go for it. And then release. Let's take the back knee down to the floor and we're gonna inhale, lift and open and exhale. Take it down and take it back, flex your foot. Taking it forward, pelvis forward, inhale. Circle the arms out and up. Feel the circular shape that you're making with the arms. Reach it out, bring it down. Taking it back into the hamstring stretch. And forward, lifting up, opening up. And exhale, take it back, flex. Last one, reach it forward, up, open, open, open exhale back, flex. Here, we're gonna stay there, turn the leg in and out. So you're moving that femur head in the hip socket. You can even like 
mobilize your foot a little bit there. Feel what that feels like. If you've got one, go for your split. Breathing into it. If you want to take it down, go for that. You can also bend the back knee, draw it in, stretching the quad. There's a lot of different ways of doing this. I think I'm just gonna do this little kickback. I'm having a hard time balancing. Ha. Huh. And then reach it out, slide it in. We're not quite finished with this. We're gonna take the back leg up, back into the lunge, into the side of your foot, coming up into a warrior pose, into warrior two. Reverse warrior and take it down. This can go all the way to the floor or just to your knee. Inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, open and exhale. This one you're gonna come up, take it into triangle, take it down. Look up, breathe. Ah. Big breathe in, let your lungs have whatever you need. Deep down into your belly. Take that hand down to the floor or a block or your leg. Other hand goes up, breathe into it. Spiraling, taking it down. We're gonna come back to this big lunge. Opposite hand to foot, top hand goes up, spiral. Breathe into that, radiate away from center. And then bring it back in. Let's step the leg back, take it to a dog, walk your feet in. Take your time, bent knees, roll all the way up to the top. Rolling up, shake it out, let your body readjust. I'm just gonna fix that. And then coming back in to do the whole thing on the other side. And I'm gonna apologize in advance in case I mess up the order, but I think I pretty much know what it is. And if I miss something, I hate, I hate to say it, but I'm actually a human being. Take your leg up to the ceiling, super imperfect. Stretch, 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 reach and open. Right, this heel's reaching down, that leg's reaching up. Breathe. And bring it in, knee into your chest. Holding it for two breaths, pushing the floor away. Feet like hands, as if you're standing on your hands, on your feet. Inhale, open, you are standing on your hands. Cross it under, two breaths. Inhale. Reach, open, lift, and knee to shoulder. Inhale, open, open, open. Square your hips off, or not your hips, your shoulders. Hip can open to get that leg and bring it in. You're in your lunge, We're moving forward and backward. From that forward backward, if you wanna take your hands off the floor and let your legs do it, you can do that, just feeling what's going on. Less, you'll have more mobility if you aren't doing it the hard way, like the muscly way. So if you're really strong and you're going for flexibility, don't lift up off the floor. If you're not quite so strong and you need to build up strength, try that, that lifted version. Okay, back leg is gonna come down. If you need more padding under your knee, get it. Circling out, opening it up exhale, take it down, stretching that whole back line of the body from the sole of your foot through the back, up through the back of your neck, like you're making a circle and take it forward. Inhale up, exhale, take it back. Inhale, reach open. Exhale. I don't remember if I did three or four on the last side, but I think I'm gonna do four on this side. Three is the magic number. And bring it back into this. Turning in and out. Mobilizing all that tissue in the leg, in the butt, in the lower back. If you've got it, take it forward into your split. Breathing into it. So there's a Huberman podcast on stretching, which I started listening to. I'm not, I'm, I'm maybe a third of the way through. 
And I feel like I've learned some scientific facts, but nothing totally that I didn't sort of know already in my body. So I'm hoping for some more information to give you from that stretching podcast. We'll see, bring it in, take it back to your lunge. We're gonna turn that foot out, lift it up through warrior into warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, exhale sideways. Inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale. Last one, inhale, open. We're gonna stand up on that. Take it out into your triangle pose. Look up. Feel the relationship between your shoulders, your head, and your neck. Your shoulders are ginching up, draw them down. Lengthen your spine. Looking up, breathing into it. And take that hand down to the floor. The other hand goes up, twisting. In this twist, I'm trying to really lengthen my body. So I'm not trying to get closer to my leg here. I'm just trying to open, spiraling in this weird twist. Bringing it back, folding it under. Let's take it to a plank. And let's just do some touches here. So hand to shoulder, going one, two, three. I don't want to count, keep going. Last one, downward dog, butt up. Walk through your feet, push with your arms. Look under your armpit. Take it into a plank, lifting your heels, rolling it forward, slow lower down. Once you get down, drop your legs from side to side. This is about releasing, softening, and melting. Let it go. Massaging out the front of your quads. Big breathing into your torso. Breathe as loud and as huffy and puffy as you need to. It's a lesson I'm still learning. Bring it in. This is another release. You're going to take your head on your hands so you have some space for your nose. Curl your toes under. Keep your knees on the floor. Push up and down. Now, in that pushing up and down, soften, release, and relax everything. <laughs> everything you can relax. I have to tell myself, relax your neck, relax your shoulders, relax your chest, relax your belly, relax your back, relax your butt, relax your thighs. And then I start again. So just giving yourself the internal request to melt and soften. And this is a great time to talk about your own inner dialogue. If while you're working out, you're giving yourself negative things, your cells are listening to you. So you could be saying, Oh, I'm fat. I'm not strong. I'm not, I'm, I'm too tight. Like if you're telling yourself that you are continuing to build that. So tell yourself I'm letting go. I'm working out. I'm getting stronger, like shift it around so that it isn't a negative, but it's a, I'm working on this thing and it will happen. It will get better. Really important to be friendly to ourselves, especially as we're working out, we're spending this time with our body be kind to yourself. Be your own friend, especially if you want love. If you can't love yourself and be kind to yourself, it makes it harder for other people, right? It makes it harder for you. So loving kindness towards your own animal body and yourself. Shake out your spine. Let it go. Tell yourself, mm, I'm doing great or I'm doing good or I'm doing my best. And that's enough. It's okay. All right especially if you come from a dance world, my God. If you come from ballet, holy crap. Anyway, lift up, opening up into a bow. You're gonna open both knees and then exhale, close them together. Inhale, open, exhale, touch. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, release. Draw your heels into your butt. Draw your pubic bone into the mat and then relax it down. Inhale, lift, exhale, take it back to your child's pose. Drop it down, shift from side to side, let it go. Kindness, kindness to yourself. Relax, breathe into your belly, big deep breathing. 
Let your belly move. And then coming up, we'll do one more last thing here, which is we're, we're doing a really, it's very arm heavy today because I'm trying to get stronger. And I have to say like, I'm 52. I started pole dancing at 50 and, and like I am stronger now in my upper body than I've ever been in my life. I remember a long time ago reading somewhere that was like, after 50, you don't build muscle anymore. Total bullshit. Let go of all the things that you've heard about bodies and just renegotiate what it is for you because so much of it's total crap. You can still build muscle when you're 80, right? <laughs> it might be harder, but it can happen. It's not over until it's over. Let's come, okay, I said we we're gonna do an arm thing. We're gonna do an easy one. Well, easy-ish. I'm gonna do a tricep push-up with my knees on the floor, and then I'm gonna pop them off. Knees down, knees up. You could do this with your knees up, but then put them down in between. So whether you're keeping your knees off the floor for the push-up, drop them down in between or pick them up in between. Getting stronger working on it and take it to a downward dog. Ha, reach up through your tail, reach your heels towards the floor. You can circle your armpits towards the floor. So I'm moving my shoulder blades together and then apart here, mobilizing my scapula on my back. Then walk it in. Shift from side to side, let it go. Hanging down, release and melt. Shake out your head, shake out your body, breathe into it, bend your knees and roll and come all the way up. We're just gonna do one last thing for balance. And it's going to be, let's just do a quad stretch for balance. So if you need to hold onto the wall, go for it. I don't like to be standing on a whole lot of padding when I'm working on balance. So grabbing on one or both hands, taking it back, right? Opening this part of your hip flexor, heel towards your butt. If that feels good, take it back a little. You can engage and lift a little bit so that you feel that stretch and we can keep it going up into, woo, dancer pose. Can I without falling? So for, for me, doing dancer pose, like I'm actually equally working my hamstring to get that balance. Starting in the quad stretch, other side. Hand can be either inside. Well, for the quad stretch, have your hand on the outside. Once we get into dancer, you can shift your hand around if you want to. So heel into butt. The more I take the front of my hip forward, the more I'm going to stretch that quad. And then letting it go down, taking my hand to the inside, breathing into it. Bringing it in and up. Wag your tail, shake your butt, let it go. A little bounce. Let's try it one more time, but we're just gonna go straight into dancer. So grab on, I'm doing the other side. I just haven't turned around. Take it up as high as it can go before you go forward. Wow, <laughs> I haven't done this in such a long time. It really loads my hamstring. Shake it out. Ha, <sighs> other side. It's really good to cross train. Take a martial arts class, take a yoga class, take a dance class. Take something really inner, Feldenkrais, body mind centering, continuum. Do it all or not. Take it forward, forward fold, then one knee, then the other. Let's take ourselves to our right leg or left leg, open spiral, switch it over to the other side, take it down, open 
spiral. Bring it back in, roll it up, coming all the way up to the top. Open your lungs, open your heart, open your chest. Shake out whatever you need to let go of. Let it go. Inhale, open. Exhale, let it go. It's never too late ha, to get in better shape. But maybe for my more extreme people, what you actually need to do is do more calm stuff, coming into meditative practices, something where it's more somatic based so that you can really renegotiate your tissues. And I'm teaching the somatic inquiry practice, sometimes called role play. It is really about going in and like softening the spaces in between so that we can start to heal being human <laughs> with ourselves, right? All right, so big love to you. If you can like and subscribe, I mean, anyone can do that. It doesn't cost you anything. So please do that. If you have money and you want to support me doing this work and pay for class, that would be fantastic. So feel free to either make a one-time donation on uh, PayPal or become a donor on Patreon. And on Patreon, you can do it for like, I think I have like a $4 a month, $10 a month. 150 and then we can do a session together and you can have all access to a bunch of things. So please consider supporting this work and have a wonderful, excellent day in your animal body.